Serving will be Jada Walker. This is the best rotation for the Rebels. Fisher goes behind her. Barkowiak gets the kill. She was one on one, and Utah took advantage. That was a great play by Fisher to recognize that. It was a great play, and especially what she needed to run that play was to get a pass up to the net, and that's just what she got. Utah within one. Shardlow will serve. That's to Cunningham. Nua battles for that set and gets it to Mira Montes, her 28th kill, 500th of the season, and UNLV is two away from the title. And another perfect pass by Cunningham. She is such a great player, perfect defender, great passer. Shardlow goes to Haney. She's blocked deep in the court. Max point for UNLV. And this is a huge play right here. I'm sure UNLV has a very long memory. Just last night against BYU, they were in the same situation. 14-11, they watched the Cougars come back to tie it at 14-14. For sure, Allison Keeley does not want to see that again. She wants her Rebels to come out of this timeout and finish this match. The Fantastic Four seniors here are Montes, Alajova, Walker, and Lumsden. They have built this program into a championship contender, building a program that's trying to be on par with the team on the other side, the Utah Utes, who have won this tournament three other times, 2001, 2002, 2005. Utah has been to the NCAA tournament nine consecutive years under Beth Lanier. The only way they get there this season is to win this match. But they're going to have to fight now. It's match point for UNLV. 14 to 11. They've got a couple of points to play with. But they can end it right here and keep the championship trophy right here in Vegas. Serving is Jessica Walters. What a terrific player she has been off the bench for UNLV throughout this tournament. Serving for the championship. Whitney Webb does not let it come to an end. She gets the kill. Behind the setter, that is where Utah has been successful. But again, UNLV with another match point. Utah has to fight very hard to try to stop Lauren Miramontes right here. No secrets. It's going to Neff. Off the block, covered by Sandberg. Webb rolls it to Walker. They can win it here. Miramontes on the slide. UNLV is the champion. And what a year this has been for UNLV. A year of first, and it couldn't have ended any better. This team fought all year long. Good, you see the emotion on both these teams' faces. They worked so hard for this. UNLV is the 2007 Mountain West Conference Tournament champions. They've got the automatic bid to the NCAA Tournament. Congratulations to Allison Keeley. Yeah, she can smile. Boy, she has such a determined look on her face throughout the matches, but tonight, nothing but elation and a little bit of relief as UNLV moves on. And boy, oh boy, for the Utah Utes, this one hurts. They made an incredible run to try to get to the NCAA tournament for the 10th consecutive year. I got to believe that Beth Lanier will allow her team to remember this for quite a while and take it into 2008. They will be back. They will be a, a formidable team come next season. There's a lot of experience that they can gain from this moment right now to take into next year. Well, they have, and they really have had a great year to even get to this point. It's amazing for the Utes. UNLV too strong. They had the edge all year. So tough at home. They remain undefeated on their own floor. And led by Lauren Miramontes right there. 30 kills. She was the player that took them there to this victory. 
UNLV defeats Utah three games to two in the championship match. For Amy Gans, I'm Bill Goldman. Thanks for joining us in Las Vegas. It's been quite a ride, and the Rebels are on top in the Mountain West.